Hi, my name is Lithoded Russ, and I'm here to tell you about the creationist lies and frauds. Famous sea design propulsionist Dean Kenyon said, Creation science is simply religion in disguise. I believe the argument of creation science to be simply unsupportable. Famous creationist Dwayne Gish said, The Bible is not the place we can learn about science. He goes on to say, things just have to be the way they are. There is no real purpose in our being here. Let's look at some of the frauds. Here is the famous Delk truck, claimed to be proof of a human walking with dinosaurs, admitted to be a carving over 70 years ago, but still appears in creation books today. It's so sad. Here is a piece of wood claimed by creationists to be from Noah's Ark. The wood was later shown to be from a nightstand in a Turkish brothel where the asses of young boys were peddled for a handful of lira. Why are the creationists so easily fooled? Because they have no evidence. Let's talk about the fruits of creationism. Adolf Hitler said, Today I believe that I am acting in accordance with the will of the Almighty Creator by defending myself against the Jew. I am fighting for the works of the Lord. If only he would have listened to what the actual scientists were saying, millions of lives could have been saved. What creationists don't want you to know, that racism is at the root of their movement. On the cover of Dwayne Gish's The Amazing Story of Creation, Adam and Eve are shown as white. This kind of fraud convinced all Christians that God created the white race to inherit the earth. All Christian churches support this belief based on this drawing. The messiah of the creation science movement, Henry Morris, said the following. The descendants of Ham were marked especially for secular service to mankind. Indeed, they were to be servants of servants, that is, servants extraordinary. Often the Hamites, especially the Negroes, have become the actual personal servants or even the slaves to the others. Possessed of a genetic character concerned mainly with the mundane matters, they have eventually been displaced by the intellectual and philosophical acumen of the Japhethites and the religious zeal of the Semites. Pure racism still taught in Sunday schools today. 